in my hands is the world's smallest and lightest full frame camera to date. This is Raymond Isaac, your key opinion leader for Sony Philippines. Today we'll take a look at Sony A7C camera. Hi, I'm Raymond Isaac. I've been a photographer for 36 years now. I've experienced both analog and digital photography. Today, nothing has matched Sony's technology when it comes to digital cameras. And that is the testament of this A7C camera that I have with me. First of all, don't let the size fool you. It may be smaller than your average full-frame camera, but it does deliver. In fact, it has the same quality as the A7R Mark IV and it's light compact and very handy. You know, the nice thing about this, it, it has a side swivel where I can check if I want to shoot from a low angle and tilt my monitor up, or if I go on a higher angle and I tilt it, down where I can view it from this side. You know, it's so easy and it doesn't make me feel like I'm a contortionist or look like a fool when I'm shooting. It does all these little angles. And the nice part is I can flip it in front and actually I can do a selfie or vlog. And you know what's the most convenient part about the sw side swivel is that it has a touch screen focus. So you can actually focus on the subject <clears throat> while you're touching the screen and it'll follow the subject or the model wherever he or she goes. It's so convenient, especially if you're busy trying to think of the things to do and what you want to do next. It just makes your life so much easier. All Sony cameras have that, the auto eye focus. In fact, they boast of something new right now. It's an animal eye autofocus. Our best friends or our pets can be focused anytime you want just by touching it on the screen. One very attractive feature of the A7C is that it has a Bluetooth grip, which I attach at the bottom. It lets you experience full frame benefits of shooting with the one hand technique. You can control your camera with just your thumb that can control video and still and zoom in or zoom out. You know, even if the grip is not attached to the body, you can still use the Bluetooth convenience of the grip. Like for example, you're shooting a flat lay. That's hard. At least you can control your camera with the grip via Bluetooth. The grip also has buttons that can be used to shortcut when you're shooting, giving the photographer easy access to produce videos and images faster and without hassles. And you know now my job is I'm not just a photographer, but I'm also a videographer. But over and above that, I also produce content for people in YouTube and other social media platforms. And with one camera, this one, I can do both. I can be a photographer, I can be a videographer, I can be a director because I can even see everything that's happening left, right, under, you know, whatever. And it's perfect because with one camera, it's so convenient. It boasts of a very good sound level recording, but there's a secret I want to share with you. It also has a face app that makes me look good even if I don't edit it in my editing room. So the question is, why should you get an A7C? I'll tell you why. The A7C is a good entry point for anybody who wants to experience a full frame camera. This, this is a perfect sample. It's light, it's handy, it's compact as compared to the other full frame cameras that are out there. Whether you're a professional or hobbyist, I wouldn't be afraid to invest in something like this. The upgrades of this camera is so endless. I change the lens every time I try to shoot something different from wide angles to close-ups to 85 portrait lenses. This is so good, both for videos and stills. You know, the A7C serves so many different styles. You can go vlogging, you can go street food. I love this when I travel because it's so convenient. Uh, you can go food shots, you can go lifestyle photography. It's endless. So 
I would buy one or get one for myself. Hey, you know what? I'll be completely honest with you guys. I don't endorse or review anything that I don't believe in. I already have two, remember, two A7R Mark IV cameras in my studio. But as soon as I experienced an A7C, I did not hesitate and go out there to get one for me. If you don't have one, I want you to go out there and experience the Sony A7C for yourself. So you can tell the difference. Nothing to lose, right? <music>